My husband and I, 18 years ago, we first adopted our first child. Then we also adopted uh, Cameron's sister, Kaylee. It's been hard, but they're a blessing. Through the connections with Kaylee, um, they connected me here. YWCA is a wonderful place, not only for the diapers and the supplies you can get here, it's the personal support. And it's just wonderful how God can work through them and them to have open hearts instantly once you come in. I was going through a hard time and Miss Regina, she just took me in her arms and just loved me. We are offering whatever the woman needs. I have someone in my corner at the YWCA that can help me to figure out where to go, how to get there, and it's gonna be there with me. Not just drop me off and leave me, but actually be there with me to help me go through the process. No, it's not up for us to do it for the woman, but it's up to us to make sure that we're providing the resources to make sure that she gets exactly what she needs so she can succeed in all areas of her life, not just in one area. We're thankful for the help that we're receiving because it makes a difference in everyday life. Not just at Christmas time, not just at Thanksgiving, it is everyday life that we deal with here at the YWCA. The YWCA have helped me from my oldest down to my baby. The parent-teacher program is, is here to help you in every way that, that you need. They're helping with housing, shelter, food, um, entertainment, helping me interact with my kids, learning them more, how to understand them as kids, you know, because we're adults, and it really helps to, to know how to interact with your child and other children as well around, you know, your children. We give you a breakdown of what you might experience, what you might go through, what some parents done been through. My parent educator, um, Ms. Davis, she done helped me so much. I love her. I love her like a second mom. She has been with me since my first child, Levi. She's been with me almost seven years since my oldest son, so yeah, I commend to her. Over the years, you connect with different families and also you're all experiencing the same thing in different situations and in different perspectives. I think it's very helpful to know that you're just not alone in any situation that you are in. From my personal experience, it helped me with my son. I was a pregnant teenager and I went to Andrews High School and the adolescent parenting coordinator, educator, she came to my high school and that's how I found about the YWCA and its lovely programs and departments. I aged out into parent as teachers. I did an internship with the Latino Family Center for a summer. And then after that, I decided to stay. So I came into program coordinator and currently I serve as Latino Family Center manager. I'm not an educator, but I am a mentor and this is what I want to do. This is what I love to do and I just want to continue every day to be making that impact on students and in this full circle moment, I will be able to make a difference and that's really all I want to do with the YWCA and just with the Latino Family Center in general. At the Latino Family Center, we also connect the community with different events and different resources. We have an adult leadership program, we have an ESL class that offers childcare specifically, like that's very needed for our community. We also have a program that's called Avance that serves high school students 13 to 18 and we talk about higher education, mental health, financial literacy, just basically preparing them for life after high school. The YWCA of High Point has been serving our community for over 104 years. We recently have been named a Tier 1 Family Resource Center from PCNAC. We are grateful for all that is going on within the YWCA and for the support of our many collaborators. That's how collectively we make change within our community. The YWCA continues to do the work towards systematic change to provide equity for everyone within our community through direct service, where we are providing our programs and services directly to those to meet immediate needs within our community. But we also have a focus on issue education. Like recently, we held our JEDI Summit that focused on how do we make change as a community at large for racial equity and the many disparities within our community. Lastly, we focus on speaking with our representatives and our lawmakers who are able to make change through policy. I love 
and appreciate the YWCA. They are awesome here. If you have a need, connect with them because they will give you the resources that you need. They're there to help you, and if you really need that help, you can't be afraid to not say nothing because, you know, if you don't say nothing, they won't know, but they done helped me a whole lot. Just because someone is driving a car or they might have a nice job or they might have some things going on, you don't know what else is going on. You might run into a time where you're a little short this month on your money, so you need some help. I'm not looking into all your business. If you say you need help, then you need help. Like my mother told me, it's not your business to get all in someone's business. If they say this is what they need, then you're able to provide the need, then you provide the need. If I was in a situation where I needed help and I couldn't get it, and to be able to come somewhere and not be judged because I'm supposed to be this, but I don't have that, is a wonderful thing. I think having resources here, you can find all sorts of things. For me specifically, whenever I go out and connect with the community, I may not know what you may need, but I know how to find it. That's like the most beautiful part about the YWCA is that somebody here knows somebody else, and if it's not here, we're gonna find it. Tag your it. <laughs> We need you to come on and support the YWCA. We got the pool, we got the fitness center, we got so much. We have different programs and your money goes to help all those programs that we offer here at the YWCA. You've been tagged, you're it. We ask you to support the YWCA in our efforts to make sure that we're reaching everyone that we can reach, not only High Point, but Jamestown, Archdale, Trinity, we serve all and we even reaching even further. So we have things to do and we need your help to get there. So hey, tag, you're it.